Now, it's snowing still, so before we go forward with that, we're, I'm going to hit Escape, and I'm going to hit D for Designation Skin. The other thing we're obviously going to need if we're going to survive the cold is we're going to need some form of heat. And we're going to need, you know, for our dwarven industry, we're going to need wood. We want to be able to build beds, we want to be able to build tables, chairs. We can build them out of rock, but we also would like to be able to build them out of this. We want to be able to build platforms and, and, and caskets and all sorts of things. So what we're going to do is do the designation with D, and then type in T for Chop Down Trees. Now, again, just like before, we're just going to select some of these trees. Now, if you go up, of course, there's a whole bunch of things. So we're going to knock down the whole tree. Um, I'm just going to make a very big area, and that's going to knock down a whole bunch of trees. I'm also going to knock down this tree over here. Okay. Now, what that means is that basically our dwarves are going to run around um, chopping down the trees. Now, the final thing we're going to do is we're going to designate an area to gather plants with P. Now, we can't see the plants yet, but eventually they will gather the plants, right? So we can see that there are plants underneath all this snow. Uh, and we're going to have them do that. Once that's done, I can hit escape. I go back to the main menu uh, here. And if you hit space, you'll unpause. This is a good time to unpause and just sort of enjoy the fact that your dwarves are going crazy. Don't have to worry too much. It's probably the site that you found. If it's not exactly like mine, it's probably just fine. Um, and so I hit pause. And now you can see our dwarves go off. They go off and our miners, Idem and Toulon, they're busy digging and uh, making a beautiful area. We've got a cat running off in the middle of nowhere and we've got people already dig uh, knocking down trees and making a whole bunch of piles of wood all over the place. Um, some people are already going to start gathering up plants and basically we're just going to have a ton of awesome stuff. Now, you'll notice that there's all this wood kind of lying out in the field out here. If you look over here and you look over here, you'll see there's all this wood. Um, wouldn't it be more convenient to have all that wood right close by the entrance so that when we want to start using it, we can't? Well, I think so too. So I'm going to pause the game by hitting uh, uh, the space bar, just the pause key. You don't have to pause, but I think it's a good practice. Um, and then I'm going to... Uh, use the stockpile command. Now, you can use stockpiles to tell your dwarves, hey, go out and get stuff and put it here. There's a lot of different interesting ways you can use stockpiles, but the most basic one we're going to do by hitting the P key, and then I'm going to press the key for wood, which is unsurprisingly W. This is going to make a wood stockpile. Just like designating a zone for mining, we're going to designate a zone for wood, and we're going to put down a whole bunch of it right here, right? So this is just a big stockpile for wood. Now, all the dwarves know that if there's any wood out there that they own, they should go out and get that if there's nothing else to do. Now, um, I also want to point out that there's something interesting going on over here. So if we use the K key, we'll notice that there's a cat here, uh, who's in, in, in that, and then we see here, it appears to be a wombat. So it looks like something's going on up here. Um, uh, is there a dwarf nearby? There's a bunch of broken bolts, and there is a probably a dwarf nearby somewhere? It looks to me like maybe uh, our hunter is off doing cool things. Now, is this guy our hunter? Uh, he's a farmer. Hunter, yeah. So Irvod Estunib uh, is probably out hunting already, and these cats are going to go off and, you know, find the corpses and do cool things with them. But we've already found a wombat um, and some, some other stuff. So that's really, really cool. And the wombat, of course, is dying piteously because that's what hunted creatures do. It's kind of a sad reality of life. And so it's vomiting and dying in the snow um, and will eventually be taken, and we will use every part of it. So sorry that you have to die this way, wombat, but trust me, we'll use you well. Now, the other thing that we're going to do before we unpause, is we're going to start making use of all this wood right away because we definitely need to take the climate seriously, right? It's cold here, there's snow, we need warm beds to sleep in at night. Sleeping on the cold ground is a recipe for frostbite, and we don't want that. Even as we're hardy dwarves, that's just not a good call. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the B key for building. There's a bunch of things here, but relax. I'm going to tell you the one you need. You want to hit W for workshops, and generally BW is one of the most commonly used commands. Now, what we're going to build here is a carpenter's workshop. Um, it's one of the most basic and earliest things that everybody always builds because you get this wood super early. You can see it hasn't even been a day yet, and we've already got a ton of wood. So we're going to ask that we build a carpenter's wood shop, which you can see is these, this 3x3 uh, three three structure right here next to the stockpile, out, conveniently out of the way of our you know, burrow because you know, we don't want to go crazy here. right? And it's going to ask us to build it with stuff. Um, and now you'll note that there, I'm moving the cursor up here. What you want to do is use the, whenever you see a menu up here in the upper right, you use the plus and minus to move up and down. Now, if your keyboard isn't quite set up right, then you will need to use the um, shift plus key because it actually wants the plus key. And for some, on some keyboards, that's equal. On some keyboards, that's plus. So you may need to hit shift. Uh, don't worry about that, though. It's pretty easy to remember. We're going to make this out of, it looks like we have 62 peach wood logs. Let's make it out of peach wood. 
it'll be a lovely peach wood thing. Now I'm going to move this over so we can see and we're going to unpause. And we'll go back to work here. Um, and you're going to see our dwarves are all going to start moving wood into the stockpile and our carpenter is going to start building his workshop, which should be done soon. Now, meanwhile, our miners are working hard on their area. So we're going to pull up K and we're going to take a look. It looks like we're digging into sandy loam and sandy loam, but over here, we've got um, what looks to be obsidian. So we've actually got a really interesting environment here. We've got the sandy loam and we're digging into the harsh, cold obsidian. And you'll notice that we have these little rocks on the floor. Those are obsidian rocks and we can actually pick them up and do things with them, which I think is really, really cool. Now, of course, there's a ton of obsidian here. Hopefully we'll find some more interesting metals. If we look around, we don't see very much in the way of metals, but we may find something eventually. Not every map is as good is gonna be as easy or as hard as this one. So keep that in mind when you're digging. For example, uh, you know, we, we we can see all sorts of interesting things going on. Sometimes you get lucky with the trees, sometimes you get lucky with the metals. Let's resume. And you can see that we're just going to be digging things out. Now this is a pretty good start. This is a pretty good start. Let's think about what we're going to do next. What we're going to do next is, as we gather all this stuff, we're going to need to make beds, tables, chairs, and all the other accoutrements that make this place livable. Because our dwarves, they're struggling through the cold, they're struggling through the night. Uh, it's going to be challenging for them. And we don't want it to be challenging for them. We want them to have every chance of survival that they can possibly get. So what we're going to do is build them a bedroom next. So I think that's been plenty for this episode. I'm going to let them dig out our little area. Um, and, and then next time we'll start on food production and we'll start on a warm place to sleep and a warm place to eat. Because in this cold, which you, by the way, you can see the snow is starting to melt. And you'll notice that some of these areas are green, even as some of them are still so. We still see snow here. But over here, the needle grass is showing through. So, and the rye grass. So we're already starting to peek our heads out. Um, and, and, and get a warmer environment. So we don't have to worry too much, but next winter, next winter, we need to take this seriously. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope that you like this. If I'm going too fast or too slow, please leave a comment. Uh, if you like this, please leave a like. If you don't like this, please don't like. Um, either way, uh, you know, you can always subscribe if you'd like to see more. And uh, I would love to hear your feedback, questions, or if you have anything that's interested. If anybody wants a dwarf named after them, now's the time to claim it. I'm going to do it for every dwarf that comes in. If the first person to ask in my comments gets that, unless I have some very good reason to say no to them. Thank you all very much for watching.